So it's time to put my money where my mouth is. I say all the time what this is worth. I could be getting there, listing it for this, but this is what I actually got for items on eBay. Check it out. Welcome back to the storage unit, everyone. If you are new here, my name's George Ross. The channel is Retro Reselling. I basically buy and sell all kinds of secondhand, mainly uh, items from charity shops, boot sales, auctions, wherever I can get from, buy them cheap, sell them online for a profit. That's my business. That's how I feed the kids. So the channel has been very car boot heavy, which has been going very well. Been liking it myself. Everyone's been enjoying it. But with that, I've suddenly let the picking videos go. Obviously I've still been selling in the background. Sales have been coming back up after taking a dip. Obviously with lockdown and everything. And obviously I've been pricing all this stuff up on the table. And like I said, if you do subscribe to the channel, which you should do now, hit that bell. So you know when I go live, I upload new videos. I say, find out what stuff actually does sell for because stuff goes for higher. Sometimes I get bang on, sometimes lower. So yeah, a nice lot today. We've got 20 items going out. So a bumper weekend, it's Monday today. This is from Saturday, Sunday and half day Monday. Uh, what's the time? It's just gone three o'clock, so three quarters of a Monday. This is what I sold. Uh, also, if you haven't seen one of these before, I basically film with a GoPro, I attach you to my head, take you through my racking, pick out the orders that did sell, show you what the item was, where I got it from, and then what it sold for, uh, see what sort of profit I made. Quite a few to go through. Let's get you on my head and check them out. Right, so you mounted on, got my list up. So let's start with some Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Uh, this has changed quite a lot if you are a regular. So yeah, new racking system here, right in the corner. Electricals, nicely filling up now. We've got some clothing coats out of the way. A little sort out, but yeah, loads of space. Look at that, that is completely full, apart from that thing, stupid thing. So yeah, loads more space now. And yeah, first one is down here. Here we go. Nothing exciting at all really. Just a pair of Tommy Hilfiger denim jeans. There we go. Size 32 waist, 32 legs, so 32 regular. I think just a standard sort of wider leg here it looks like. Um, owes me four pounds from a charity shop. Been listed for a few months. Listed in January. Got 17.99, so no frills there. And like I say, a nice bill payer. Okay, so this is probably the most recent boot sale apart from Sundays. So these Weber ones. Had loads of stuff laid out, like all brand new, like this sort of thing, like a home base or B&Q had a massive clearance or something like that, uh, which is fair enough, making a bit of money, as I'm doing. Uh, they wanted 15, I managed just about to get them to 14 each because I bought a few and even that was a struggle. So yeah, these are me 14. Weber, sort of a premium brand of barbecue, like they make barbecues, obviously the covers go with them. So that's why I was willing to pay 14 each, which is paying up a little bit. And we got, what do we get? This one here, the black one. 50 centimeter touch master or master touch 14 into 40 pounds plus postage sold within a few hours of listing bang in the right season good make brand new obviously a bit of a scruffy box but I made 40 quid awesome stuff easy to post not as much for this one took an offer 34 pound 50 plus postage so again from 14 I've sort of doubled my money and even better I've got for this month a one pound final value fee on eBay and um, they're doing an offer at the moment with lockdown. Normally you pay 10% plus VAT, so 12%, but I only paid one pound final value fee plus VAT, so one pound 20 plus my PayPal. So I'll save money there. So yeah, 14 into 34, I've definitely doubled up there. Whereas it would have been like three, four, nearly five pound in fees. Lovely jubbly. So as you would have seen a couple of weeks ago, I picked up this big bulky thing and yeah, the screen's not working. I've got to try and get my money back on that. I paid 20 pound for the B&O TV, but that's not the one that's sold. What has sold is in here. And it's the remote to go with it. Uh, luckily this was working. There was a bit of um, screen fault with this, like some dead pixels, but yeah, still worked. It could turn on the telly. Uh, and all the buttons lit up and everything. So yeah, nice everything, well made in Denmark. Bang & Olufsen is a high-end brand, expensive stuff, people collect it. Just for the remote alone, got £25 plus postage. So I've got my money back at least, just with this remote. So at least I've got my £20 back after fees, made a little bit, and hopefully I can get something for the telly. Hopefully someone can fix it, or I'll give it a couple of months maybe, and then I might have to just go to the tip. Uh, I might auction it maybe, pick up only, see if anyone wants it as an auction. But now after that, yeah, I was going to the tip, but I got my money back at least to go out again and make a better profit. Another speedy sale. 
got some biker gloves. Uh, this was very recent as well. It took only a day or so to sell. Frank Thomas leather biker gloves. Owe me three pounds from the boot sale. Listed and sold 28.99 plus postage. Just a perfect sale really. Bought them cheap. Sold them quick. Easy to post. Nothing more to be said by that. Oh, very juicy sale. Very, very juicy. I think in the video when I picked these up last week, there was a spider on them, which I didn't see until I was editing the video. But luckily I'm not that scared of spiders. But uh, anyway, Chaos Free, Anarchy Chaos Free inline roller skates, like aggressive skates, nice and chunky, really heavy quality things. Um, only worn a couple of times, which you can tell. No scuffing to the wheels or hardly any at all. No wear to the toes, just absolutely immaculate condition. Good size, size 11 men's. Uh, yeah, uh, what did I pay? £12, I think it was from the boots out only last Wednesday, just gone, so under a week. Paid 12 listed them and sold £75.99 plus £5 postage. Again, this comes within that deal with eBay, £1 maximum final value fee. So whereas this would have been 10% plus uh, VAT, which is, what's that, £7.00. Say nine pounds, then PayPal paid one pound twenty, and then the rest is in my pocket. So again, this is exactly why I love boot sales. This sort of thing, just like again, it on a daily basis when I'm going to boot sales, they're more likely to get stuff like this. Whereas auctions, Facebook, people ask a bit more. They might get snapped up if they're dirt cheap. But yeah, just sitting out the boot sale, twelve quid, seventy-five pounds sold quick. Absolutely love it. More Weber stuff, more barbecue. Here we go. Along with the barbecue covers, they also chucked this in for a fiver. It's a poultry roaster, which I've never heard of before. Uh, put your chicken on top and just roast it. But yeah, brand new again. Owes me five pounds, brand new, good name. Banging season, like I said with the other one. Took an offer, nice and quick. Sold within 24 hours again, 15 pound plus postage. Nice little markup. And yeah, easy to post again. Here it is. This is from a pre-loved kilo sale, so each kilo owes you about £15 or you can get uh, pre-bought uh, kilograms, which I do, for £12.50. So this owes me, what, about £5, £6 within a kilo, if that uh, stuck around. thought I'd get a bit more than I actually did, which I got £18.39 plus postage. Uh, random amount again because I've sent offers out to watchers. It's in about 10 to 15, maybe a bit more percentage off. So I had to wait for this £18 as well, which isn't ideal. I like to sell stuff within hopefully one, two, three months. And then after that, reduce the price and everything. Just a nice vintage Adidas sort of football training track top thing. Yeah, I really liked this one, but a bit too small for me. Yeah, pre love kilo sales. I have done well at. I've made lots of money, but some stuff does stick um, like this one. Looks cool and everything, but there's a lot of competition at the moment, like millennial Depop type sellers. They're all getting in on this market at the moment. So yeah, quite a saturated market, but still money to be made. Subscriber sale now, and this is another quick sale. Picked up the Jaws game from the Thursday boots out for 50p. I split out the spare parts, like the hook and some spare pieces. And John bought this one. And because John's a subscriber, he gets... He's going to get a free badge. There you go. Still got a few of these to go. We'll come to them at the end. If you purchase from my store now, you'll get one for free included. How's that? Cheers, John, for the business. Really appreciate it. Helps me and obviously the business out. And yeah. Really cool profit there. Obviously I paid 50p for this and the game. It was all included, but I completed the game. Split these out, John's bought them. I think he might have this game to complete. So yeah, we're both winners here. Cheers, mate. Speaking of subscribers, this is a subscriber uh, buy that I bought from a subscriber. Back in the early days of lockdown, back in March, when I was panicking, I was running out of stock. Done a few deals with subscribers, like I've said before. And the first box I've done, this was in it. Uh, just a Sony Cybershot DSCP12. These normally take a while to sell. It's taken a couple of months, but it's still gone. $25.99 plus postage. Uh, just for a digital camera, which is obviously they're quite out of fashion at the moment. So obviously we all have phones and that with like really good cameras. So when it's just a digital sort of bog standard camera, sometimes they're not worth anything at all and they'll just linger and linger. But yeah. Good price for this one, so look out for the Sony Cybershot. It probably helps that Sony's obviously a really good brand, make quality stuff, um, good working condition, complete in box, got all the accessories. So yeah, uh, obviously way, way into profit. This might even be the very last item from that bundle. 
So that's all sold through now. Thanks again for that deal. Really helped me out through lockdown. And this is this cherry on the top, just to finish it off nicely. Thanks again. A pair of kickers, or as I like to call them, Tots TV shoes. A few people in the comments enjoying that. Uh, yeah, I love my Tots TV. But anyway, this is a pair of kickers. Uh, this is another recent pickup. I think this was a Wednesday boot sale. Not last week, but maybe the week before. I can't remember now. They're sort of jumbling into one now. So if it was last week or the week before, I've only paid a fiver for these. Good condition. Obviously a bit of wear, but nice and clean. No rips or anything. Good unisex size. I think they were size 7 or size 8. One of them. So yeah, appeals to both markets. And I've got 29 99 plus postage. Again, just an awesome buy. Uh, really easy to picture and list. And send out. Perfect. Right, next up we've got quite a few VHS players. So I'm going to quickly cut here. I'll get them all out because they're quite buried. I'll quickly get them on the table, go for each one, what I got for them. And yeah, some juicy profits here. In fact, I don't need to cut the video because all three I sold are all in a row here, which is handy. Here we go. So again, all these were picked up last week, I believe. We've got a Sony, what one's this? SLV E275. Auto tuning flips down. Paid £12 for this one with the remote. I'll get the remotes in a minute. Uh, tested and working. I do put a picture in the list and showing them working on a TV screen. Helps with buyer confidence. It definitely has, as I've sold free just within a week. £12. This one's gone for £49.99 plus postage. Awesome result. Love VHS players. I went off them a bit last year. I kept getting faulty ones and I was buying lower end ones. Uh, so yeah, went off them a bit, but yeah. I think the love is back now, especially if they're getting 50 quid from 12. Lovely. Uh, next one is this Philips one. Paid £3, I think it was, last Wednesday, midweek boot sale. Uh, it does have the remote, up, which I'll have to fish out again. Uh, £3 into £39.9p plus postage. It's a bit lower than the other one. But um, yeah, again, quick sell. Only owes me £3. I'm happy with posting this out and getting like 30 odd quid from it. And then this Sony in the middle here came in uh, this morning, got how much? £55 plus postage, so this is the most expensive one. Uh, these Sony smart engines do go well, um, but the model number does depend on the price. Uh, we've got SLV SE830, you can get like the 730, 630, and it depends on how high the 830 or the 30 number goes, depends on how much you tend to get. Like it tends to be a higher end, so like you can rewind, like skip, like using this function here. That's sort of a giveaway that it's a higher end, more expensive model. I think this one does it a bit as well. Like you can turn it, it fast forwards, rewinds. So look out for that on VHS players. Like this one hasn't got that. It's just literally records, plays, rewinds, stops. So that's why that one only went for about 40, but these went for 50 plus. Just little features like that give it away, plus the remote controls as well. Helps to get them prices. So yeah. Went VHS crazy, but at least they're selling. Awesome. Talking of awesome sales, awesome quick sales. Again, I think it was last week. Certain Betty Boop. No, it wasn't last week. It was the previous Saturday. So just over a week. Uh, you would have seen me pick these up. Betty Boop. So yeah, this uh, seller had quite a few of these. I was going through them if you saw the video um, and then someone came along and tried to buy all of them. Luckily I'd done a deal on the not broken one. Only this one was not broken. And I was happy to pay the 10 pounds the seller was asking. Absolutely pristine condition. Uh, no marks, obviously highly collectible. Yeah, happy to pay the 10 on that one. Then all the others had some sort of damage. Like this one here I picked up with the bikes. He's got a damaged arm. And then the other ones that other women sort of butted in and bought them all. I was going to leave them, luckily. I did hear her say, how much for all of them? And then if you watch back, I quickly grabbed this one. Like, as soon as she says, how much for all of them? I'll go, bonk, I know what's going to happen here. So yeah, I got that one. Uh, this was the least amount of damage and it was the biggest one, like with the bike and everything. So yeah, that was £3, absolute steal, even, if, even with this damage. But yeah, that's what she asked, that's what I paid. So £13, these owe me all together, and someone abroad through the Global Shipping Programme paid £189.98 for both of these, plus postage, of course. Postage is never free. Um, so yeah, an absolute epic score. £13, it owes me all together. Obviously, even with a bit of damage, Sometimes don't let damage put you off. Like with trainers, I've been called out on buying dodgy trainers, like rough with holes in. But if it's the right thing, 
you still got a value. People do them up, people fix things up. They don't mind putting a bit of work into it. And that's the case with this sort of thing, like Betty Boop, like these statues are highly collectible. And even like, obviously you don't want too much damage, but if something's still together like this, only a little bit, they're still gonna be worth money. And that proves it here. Just got to package them up safely now, probably do them in separate boxes and then put them in a bigger box all padded out. They'll get there safely, nice big square box. Again, another reason to use the global shipping program as well. It's badges time. So getting through them now, you can see the bottom starting to appear. So be quick, again, links in the description. I put out a little feelers out yesterday, letting people know I was doing this type of video. So if you do want a shout out, make sure you buy a badge. Um, and yeah, I'll give you a little shout out. And the first badge we got going out to Omar. He says, hi George, keep the videos coming. Cheers, mate. And cheers, Omar. Badge coming out to you. Should be sent out today. Hopefully you get it by sort of Wednesday depending on Royal Mail, of course. Next up with a single badge, we have Tom. He's got a note here. Hi, George. Uh, I moved into my 75 square foot unit recently. And I'm excited to grow. Massive thank you to you, your channel, your family for getting me inspired and motivated. The dream has always been to be self-employed. That dream is looking very likely now. Thanks for your videos uh, teaching me how. All the best. Thanks for everything doing a channel. Uh, for being so humble and generous with your knowledge and time. Can't wait to see all of your success continue. Kind regards, Tom. So lovely message there. Thanks so much, Tom. Uh, again, appreciate everyone that buys the badge. Uh, yeah, as I said, getting through them now. Uh, appreciate everyone that's bought one. Just a nice little idea I had, like me and Amy came up with the concept. Just, yeah, throw out a bit of merch, wearing around the charity shops, wearing around the boot sales. Uh, yeah, just thanks again, Tom. And we've got another Tom with a single badge. Hey, George, big fan of the videos. Lost a badge I ordered a few weeks ago, so I'm buying a replacement. Thanks, Tom. The badges are taking over the world. We've got a lost badge on the loose somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, thanks again, Tom, for buying the replacement. Again, appreciate it. Got a set of three. Uh, who've we got? Mark the Bowerman Smith bought a set of three. Keep it up, George. Loving the videos. Thanks so much, mate. Yeah, I do them as a set like a single set here for $1.99 and then I do like that three for $4.99. So obviously a bit of discount there. So yeah, really appreciate it. Thanks, Mark. Uh, they're on their way to you today. The last one, we've got Ryan for the single one. Love your videos. Keep up the good work from Ryan. Cheers again, Ryan. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your badge. Thanks everyone again. There's another little shout out I've got to give. Just had a message through on eBay. Obviously there's been more people buying badges, but yeah. Thanks to everyone that has, uh, just had a message. Um, and so I bought this for their partner, the badge. And apparently his name's Matthew Robinson. So hi, Matt, uh, thanks for watching the videos. Glad you're doing well. He lost his job due to the C word, the current situation. So sorry to hear about that. But yeah, apparently he's doing well in his reselling business. Been picking up hints and tips. That's what I'm all about. So yeah, thanks again, Matt. Thanks for the badge, hope you enjoy it. And yeah, keep up the good work. Oh, how's my head? I always get the red mark after this. Ooh, I think I'm all right. So yeah, really, really bumper weekend. Really pleased with how sales are going. Uh, and this is exactly why I was missing boot sales so much. Got, like, if you watch back what I was selling, was it during lockdown, it was sort of lower end clothing. Yeah, it was quite a struggle selling, still selling, which was good. But yeah, it was the lower end items. I don't get excited about that really. It's more of a grind, more of a job. Feels more like a job, surprisingly. But yeah, this is just pure fun now. Like the Betty Boops, high-end profit, um, VHSs. I find that stuff fun to test, to sort of work out how they're working and things. Yeah, can't argue with that. The only thing is, it takes a bit more packing, which I've got to get on with now. Thanks again for watching. Hit the like button if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if not already. Um, I'll probably see you next in a boot sale video again. Uh, weather's looking okay-ish, bit wet, but um, yeah. Got quite a few to choose from, so yeah, make sure you stay tuned. So, if you do enjoy them, more coming out soon. Thanks again for the badge sales. Again, check them out in the description. If you do want a little shout out, I'll be doing more of these videos again. So, yeah, if you do buy them, look out for your shout out. Again, I really appreciate it. Thanks everyone for the support. Uh, on the road to 10k subs, nearly there. Uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye bye.